Hey folks, Michael here. So glad that you joined me on this impromptu video today. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to put one up today on Thursday, but uh, a couple people asked me, said, hey, what all did you get for Christmas? What kind of wrestling stuff did you get for Christmas? There's a couple of people here on uh, on YouTube that, uh, that do uh, like my wrestling videos and so forth. Uh, they're not really popular, but uh, some people, a couple people asked for it. So I'm going to go ahead and show this stuff. And then that way I can get it put up. So that, that's my thing. I need to get these things put away. So uh, anyway, I want to show you the things that I got for Christmas that are wrestling related. All right. First and foremost, though, I want to give two shout outs to two very special people. The first one uh, sent Miss Jacqueline and myself a Christmas card. And uh, I thanked her uh, through some messages. But uh, I, I've not thanked her on the, uh, on the old video here and that's miss kim williams now those of you in the uh, fan pack community and uh, promo items and all that kind of stuff you know kim all right she comments on all of her videos she's a super sweet lady really nice lady from across the big pond and uh, she sent miss uh, jacqueline and myself a nice little christmas card here and it meant so much to us uh, and uh, here's what the inside of it says if you want to see that as well but uh, nonetheless, Miss Kim, thank you so much for uh, for sending me and Jay that Christmas card. Means a lot that you thought enough of us to do that. All right. The next thing is uh, a gentleman that goes by the name of Hit Squad Collectibles right here on YouTube. He does a lot of uh, uh, TTM videos, and uh, he gets a lot of really, really good stuff in. He uh, he messaged me, and he said, hey, dude, he said, I've got... Uh, got a care package right here with your name on it. I said, how do you know my name? He said, doesn't matter. I got a care package. I said, all right. He wanted to send me something. So um, I didn't know what to expect. He said, hey, who, who do you like? What do you collect? And so forth. And, uh, you know, my baseball team is the Houston Astros. Yeah, I know they're a bunch of cheaters, but I am too. That's okay. Uh, but, uh, of course, wrestling is my number one gig, all right? I, I do a lot of NASCAR stuff on this channel, but... Uh, above and beyond anything else i'm a wrestling fan so he said all right so uh first of all he sent me a business card and i really really uh encourage you is that going to focus can you see that any of that at all i will put uh, his information down below hit squad collectibles uh but anyway so he sent me a uh sent me a, a christmas card here it says michael thanks for supporting my YouTube, uh, my youtube channel healthy thoughts cheers he goes by scoop and uh so here's what he sent. I wasn't expecting uh, all of this. It was unreal what he sent. Sent me a, a, a page here of wrestling cards. Love wrestling cards. It's uh, and look at this. This is some of the the new tops finest cards that uh, have just come out here in the last month or so. So really appreciate that. Then there was another envelope in here. Another envelope. I thought, hmm, maybe this is just something I can use to to send out for a TTM or so. No. Autographed picture of the million dollar man Ted DiBiase right there on the inside. Love it. Love it. So Hit Squad Collectibles, thank you so much, my friend, for thinking of me. Go over and check out his YouTube channel. I'm going to leave that in the description. All right. Oh, my gosh. Wrestling stuff for Christmas. Miss J and my mom and dad did uh, a really fine job on getting me the stuff that uh, I really wanted and really needed. I give them some hints and so forth. First of all, I always get me a new planner. Uh, last year, uh, the planner that uh, Jacqueline got me really helped me keep things straight on what I was doing, not just here on YouTube and Instagram, but uh, every, all other points of my life, too. So uh, got me a new planner. They say, well, that's not really wrestling related. Well, when it comes to, to the things that I do here on YouTube and stuff, it, it can be. So, all right. The next thing, uh, I told Miss J, and most of this stuff is from Miss J because my mom and dad, they get me other things like the, you know, the clothes, the the deodorant, the, you know, you know the, the, the general stuff that you, you normally ask for for Christmas and things like that. We always do stuff like deodorant, shampoo, and uh uh, you know, th things like that. It's, it's, why not? You know, you're going to buy it all throughout the year, so we just we go ahead and sometimes they round us up and uh, get enough to last us throughout the year, so I'm, I'm much appreciative of that. But anyway, Jacqueline usually takes care of all the wrestling stuff, so here's one thing that she got me. This is in a uh, page protector here. This is a flyer 
that was advertising some appearances from some TNA wrestlers at a Best Buy up in Madison Heights, Michigan. And it is signed by Taylor Wilde and the Motor City Machine Guns. There's two or three more of these different types of flyers that's on eBay, and I'm going to be buying all of those for my collection. All right, the next thing is something I'm not supposed to have, and the reason I say that is this is a sale sheet for the 2008 TNA uh, Impact Wrestling Cards. This is the first set of wrestling cards that TriStar put out. And this is a sell sheet that would have been sent to uh, hobby shops, uh, card shops across the country and said, hey, here's what we've got coming up. You know, you might want to order you a case or two of them. I love things like this because someone like me is not supposed to have them. Uh, so she, I found that actually and I dropped a little hint and said, hey, I'd like to have that. Okay, next three things all coming out of the same envelope are some magazines. The very first wrestling magazine I ever got as a kid, my dad bought me a sports review wrestling magazine, okay? And I still have it. It is in terrible condition. I would not take $1,000 for it because it's the first one that I ever got, and, uh, you know, my daddy got it for me. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to start building this set. Uh, I believe the set came, or the, not set, but uh, this, uh, this series. Uh, I believe Sports Review Wrestling debuted in 70... Five, mid seventies, and it shut off in the mid, uh, mid nineties. So there's like two hundred and fifty some odd issues of this magazine, and I'm going to try to build an entire library of it. Okay, that's going to be a daunting task. And there's a gentleman on, uh, on eBay who has a bunch of these, and uh, they're in excellent condition, as you can see. These these two first two magazines I'm showing you are from 1984, and. Uh, he sells them in lots of two and three. Uh, this one, here's a really nice one from March 85. Got Starcade 84. There's Flair and Dusty on the cover. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm going to start buying some of these every month. Uh, and uh, like I said, I'm going to start building the library of this, uh, of this particular title. And uh, really glad that uh, Jay picked these up and they're in fantastic condition. All right. As you can see here in the background, this is not wrestling, okay? But this is a, a frame, uh, a trading card frame that was purchased at Michael's. I actually already have two more of these. And Miss J bought me another one because I'm wanting to make some displays out of my wrestling cards that I have. And uh, so she got me one of these. And they're, it's really nice. You can put 20 cards um, in these frames. Like I said, this is the third one that I have. All right, running a little long. going to try to speed this up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and show you the uh, wrestling cards, the autograph cards that I got for Christmas. Got 18 of them between my parents and Miss J. Uh, first of all, I'm going to start off with these two. These are the Sugar and Spice of uh, SoCal Val and Madison Rain. Now, I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit. Might show up a little better. Um, in the TNA Icons set, there is a subset called Sugar and Spice. It's a 12-card set of uh, some of their knockouts, and uh, I'm wanting to build that set. Uh, and I was wanting to do one card per month uh, this coming year, 2021, and by the end of the year, I would have all of them. And Miss J went ahead and started me off with two, with SoCal Val and Madison Rain. So, very appreciative of that. Mom and Dad took care of old Kevin Nash in the uh, New Era set. This is my favorite TNA set of all the times, because I just think the, the autograph cards look really, really nice, and uh, I like the design and so forth. So, Kevin Nash got that for a decent price. All right, Miss J. I have some holes in my binders. What I mean by holes is, as you all know, in binders you have nine card, uh, nine card pages. Okay, you put nine cards in a page, and uh, if I have a hole in that page, which means I may only have six or seven cards in that page, you got two empty holes. That just drives me insane. I can't stand it. So I wanted to fill all the holes in some of these sets that I have in my Leaf cards and my TNA cards. But she didn't give me any TNA cards except the Sugar and Spice. But uh, she did take care of every hole and then some in my Leaf trading card binder. So here we go on this. We got from 2012, we got the Honky Tonk Man. This is the alternative uh, art picture for him. We've got gorgeous Jimmy Garvin. And the alternative art. Actually, I've got them backwards here. It's the original uh, base card and then the alternative art for uh, gorgeous Jimmy Garvin. Okay, that took care of 2012. 2014, we've got the big Wallod. And his autograph is really, really nice. If you've seen some of his other ones, he, he doesn't do too well on his signature. Uh, Dancing Stevie Richards here, Dr. Stevie. 
And then we've got old Bob Holly. That's for the 2014 set. I think I might have said 2004. All right, 2017. We've got Dirty Dutch Mantel. Notice how they misspelled his last name on the card, and he corrected it in his signature. <laughs> All right, we've also got Jumpin' Jim Brunzel from the uh, Killer Bees. Here's two cards that I, I really love. Jacques Rougeau and Jacques Rougeau. This is the uh, the base and the alternative art and uh, you the way you can tell that is there's an a up here by his uh by the lettering and the numbering on the cards so uh got the the original base and then got the alternative art love that we've also got mark merrill mr johnny b bad he was so pretty he said uh mom and dad got me the number to 25 x pack or x pack for the 2016 set and then for the 2018 set legends of wrestling got conan and the doctor of Styles slick and then miss j surprised me with a slabbed card okay this is a psa jim mint 10 stevie richards and uh, if you notice up here it says 2018 leaf legends of wrestling which is what these cards are Okay, but if you turn over on the back, it says 2004. There's a story behind that. If you open up a box of uh, 2018, they filled it with some other cards from different sets. So that's why it's titled and labeled the way it is, but it's actually a card from 2014. I love it. Jim Mint 10, Stevie Richards. Folks, that's what I got for Christmas as far as wrestling goes. Again, I got some stamps uh, that I can send some uh, TTMs out with and so forth. My mom and dad bought my car tags for me, so uh, that way I can drive legal on the road uh, for the next year. Uh, got me some shirts and all kinds of stuff. So my Christmas was fantastic. I hope your all's was as well. Those of you that do take the time to watch this video, I, I really appreciate it. Again, I know wrestling's not the main focus of the channel, but some people had asked, hey, what did you get wrestling related for Christmas? So here we go. Showed it to you. Now I can get all this stuff put up. Hope y'all have a great day. Remember the giveaways. Okay, the giveaways ends tom uh, tonight, actually, at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. They end tonight uh, over on Instagram and here on YouTube. Go back and find the giveaway video from Saturday and find out how you can enter really quick for some stickers, some hero cards, and then some pr uh, promotional goodies. All right, again, thank you for watching, folks. That's all i got. We'll talk to you on Monday. See ya.